Two years ago, Alan Ayebare delivered premature triplets by caesarean section after medical examinations showed she could not keep them up to the ninth month. Of course, I was kind of traumatized knowing, taking care of the three premature babies. It was not easy. And after they came out, they were so small, none of them had even a kilogram. But unfortunately for her, two of her babies died two months after their birth. When Ayebare was discharged from hospital, she applied a life-saving technique on her baby, known as kangaroo care. The method involves skin-to-skin -skin contact between a mother and her child. Can give you some juice? Our surviving son, Daniel Atwine, is now two years and eight months old. Whether it's in the morning, whether it's at night, you must feed every after two hours. You pump the breast, you feed through the NG tube, and it was not an easy thing. To an extent that I even failed to get the breast milk because of the stress, I think. Many of the cases are linked to complications that mothers may have, like high blood pressure and diabetes. For Daniel, it was found to be anemic. Whenever they would put blood like today, the next week they would find his uh, blood levels would have gone down. And I was told it was because of being a premature. So they had to keep on transfusing him, which was not easy. But what really helped me was because my husband was on my side. We used to move together all the time. But a few weeks later, the family was distraught to learn that Daniel was having a heart defect. God, I think, was on our side. We went to the Heart Institute. They checked him. He was given some medicine and the two tiny holes covered. It was Dr. Margaret Nakaket who treated and provided moral support to Allen in our trying times. It was really a fight. I remember Allen cried a lot when they were still three and she didn't know she, she, she would even have one of them alive. But where there's love and affection, as well as care, the result is healthy children, just like Daniel. Okay. He plays like others. He's actually too talkative. The couple also have another child who was born normally. But prematures, once they are provided for, they will grow up as any other baby. And you will never tell. Sometimes they are even bigger and uh, they are really brilliant. Don't say because I was a premature. We have doctors who are preterms. We have engineers who are preterms. Allen is currently used as a role model by a children's charity called Save the Children to inspire women who have given birth to premature babies. Any parent who has gone through this should really help and be there for others and encourage them. What we are doing also with Save the Children is trying to give these mothers as much knowledge as possible and support them even when they are out of hospital to see that they can manage the babies outside. About 124,000 preterm babies born in Uganda survived death. According to the World Health Organization, one in ten babies are born premature. And this puts the number born every year at 15 million worldwide. Uganda is ranked 13th on preterm births in the world and 11 in preterm deaths. The World Health Organization believes the kangaroo methods could save the lives of 450,000 preterm newborns every year. Besides this method, Medics advise mothers to maintain high standards of hygiene and to breastfeed their babies. But the critical issue is the care and support from parents. It is why countless families like that of Allen have managed to raise preterm babies. Moses Sakena, NTV.